Threats to internal validity. Here we go. First definitions. What is internal validity? Internal validity is defined as the extent to which the independent variable correlates with the change in the dependent variable. So when you think of internal validity, the key word you're thinking of is correlation. And external validity then is defined as how generalizable experimental findings from the sample are to the target population. So when you're thinking about external validity, the key word that you're thinking about, uh, thinking of is generalizability. So then threats to internal validity are factors that jeopardize the correlation between the independent and the dependent variable. To understand this definition, I think it's easier to go through the example so this way uh, the points are driven home. Um, here, for the first threat to internal validity that we'll talk about is called history. History then is defined as events outside of the experiment influencing outcomes. So here we have a, a sort of like a, a mock experiment. The target population here being football players, the sample being high school football players, specifically in Boise, Idaho. The dependent variable will be strength and the independent variable will be weight training. So this will be the example that we use throughout this presentation. So if we see history as a threat to internal validity, it would be a situation where high school football players demonstrate an increase in strength from working manual labor jobs, while coaches attribute the increase in strength to weight training. So you see how strength did increase, but strength did not increase due to weight training. Rather, it was a threat to internal validity because strength increased instead because the students or the high school football players uh, were working manual labor jobs. Next example we have as a threat to internal validity is maturation, which is defined as natural growth and or progression influencing outcomes. Once again, same target population, football players, a sample here being uh, high school football players in Boise, Idaho. Dependent variable again is strength and the independent variable is weight training. Maturation as a threat to internal validity would be where high school football players demonstrate an increase in strength from aging from one year to the next, while coaches attribute the increase in strength to weight training. So once again, you see the strength, the dependent variable of strength did increase, but it wasn't necessarily, or at least we don't know how much of it was because of weight training and how much of it was because of aging from one year to the next. We know that uh, uh, high school football players at that particular age group, they do tend to get stronger whether they're working out or not just because of biology. Next example of a threat to internal validity we have here is testing. Uh, it's defined as increasing familiarity with the experiment influencing outcomes. Again, target population, football players, sample being high school football players in Boise, Idaho, uh, the dependent variable being strength, the independent variable being weight training. And the, uh, the example here, as far as how testing as a, uh, could be a threat to internal validity, would be where high school football players only spend time increasing their bench press numbers after learning that's the only way that they're going to be tested on strength. Now, being that, as that being the case, coaches assume that an increase in the strength on the bench press means an increase in strength in all areas of strength. So high school football players might pick up on this. This is the only thing that we're going to be tested on. So let's just work on this. So this way coaches think that we're getting stronger when maybe that's not necessarily the case. So this is also called teaching to the test. I'm sure this seems like a familiar example outside of even football or weight training or strength. Next example is a threat to internal validity as instrumentation, or rather instrumentation as a threat to internal validity. Uh, that's defined as differences in how variables are measured within the experiment influencing the outcomes. Here the target population once again are football players, sample being high school football players in Boise, Idaho. Dependent variable is strength, independent variable is weight training. Instrumentation as a, as a threat to internal validity would be where high school football coaches test lineman strength only on the bench press, running back strength only on the power clean, and linebacker strength only on the deadlift. Then determining, the coaches rather, the coaches determining that linebackers are stronger than linemen because linebackers can deadlift more weight than linemen can bench press. You see how there's a difference in instrumentation and in how uh, uh, these particular positions in, within the football team are being tested. We all know that more, more often than not, you'll be able to deadlift a lot more weight than you can bench press. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're on equal footing. If I can deadlift more weight than you can bench press, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm stronger than you. 
uh, nor does it mean that you're necessarily stronger than me if you can bench press more than I can deadlift and so on you know going back and forth so instrumentation has to be consistent uh, here otherwise it does uh, pose a threat to internal validity next example is diffusion as a threat to internal validity here uh, uh, the, rather the, de the definition here is social interactions, social interactions related to the experiment influencing outcomes. The target population, once again, are football players. The sample, again, high school football players in Boise, Idaho. Dependent variable is strength. Independent variable is weight training, again. And diffusion as a threat to internal validity uh, would be where high school football players demonstrate an increase in strength by following body weight and resistance band training recommended to them by the star quarterback's father, but the coaches might not be aware of that, and then the coaches attribute the increase to, in strength to weight training, when in fact it, it could have been partially weight training and partially uh, body weight and resistance band, resistance band training. So that would be diffusion. Last, in this example at least, in this presentation at least, last is attrition as a threat to internal validity. This is where members of the sample are disqualified from uh, the experiment midway, thereby influencing overall outcomes. The target population, once again, are football players. The sample, again, high school football players in Boise, Idaho. Uh, the dependent variable is strength, and the independent variable is weight training. Attrition as a threat to internal validity would be where high school football players demonstrate an overall increase in strength through weight training only after weaker players self-disqualify themselves from participating in the experiment. So obviously, if weaker players are not participating in the experiment and only stronger players or players that are getting stronger are participating in the experiment, it's going to appear as though the experiment is, is effective but we have to take into account the entirety of the sample and we can't always do that because of attrition and that'll always happen in any, in any kind of uh, study. So you have to be aware of that and that will serve as a threat to internal validity. This is a slide from earlier just to you know, recap uh, what internal validity is. It's the extent to which the independent variable correlates with the change in the dependent variable. External validity then is defined as how generalizable experimental findings from the sample are to the target population. And finally, the examples that we've gone through, just to define them as, a, as an umbrella category, threats to internal validity are factors that jeopardize the correlation between independent, variable, independent variables and, the, and dependent variables. Thank you very much.